that one of the things that I would have to reiterate is just that this this movement brings you into a ritual a routine a practice right if I have my class every Tuesday at nine o'clock then every Tuesday at nine o'clock becomes my time it becomes my sacred space and so then we're attuning to the body we're attuning to our feelings to our inner selves it's it's really so beautiful how it all sort of unfolds. The most important thing is to show up. So the most important thing then is to show up. How do I show up in my sensuality? How do I show up as my authentic self? How do I utilize my senses in a way that helps me navigate my world and my experience that I am living? And how do I move through my senses in a way that feels good and gratifying? And this does not have to be made into you know something sexual this is simply just how can i slow down and enjoy my food more how can i take a moment to be out in nature and enjoy with my sight the very things that i'm looking at how can i really slow down which is the most important thing and is the most important part of this practice hence slow flowology right we have to learn to slow down and our body becomes the medium for us to practice in real time how to do that and as we learn to slow down we learn to take it in more when was the last time you had a meal and you chewed your food like 30 times before you swallowed it or you closed your eyes and you chewed really slow and you simply just indulged in whatever it was that you were eating. Those simple moments of happiness and like jolts of pleasure like peak our oxytocin levels. It releases the feel good hormones within us. And like we need that. It's the exact same as going to the gym and getting in a good workout. So. I encourage you today to simply just show up. Come on, get inside the V Studio, click on a class, sit down, and give it 10, 15, 20 minutes of your life. Devote that to your movement practice, to your meditation practice, to your breathing, your breath work practice, because all of these elements are really important, especially to my goddess who is on a healing journey if you are shadow working if you are healing childhood trauma if you are trying to heal wounds if you are breaking generational curses if you are doing all of the things and you're not moving your body and finding ways to make time and space for your breath work for your meditation for your movement for stretching maybe we gotta talk <laughs> because you need that component it's the body needs its component as well.